What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Schaefer, Producer God. I've worked with such artists as Kevin Gates, Jim Jones, Corrupt, whole lot of West Coast artists, whole lot of artists in Dallas, Gun Um I'm a producer, engineer, mixer, songwriter. Today, I've got one of the sickest, most underrated delay plugins you've ever heard. I think a lot of people are sleeping on this plugin, but a lot of people have it. So I'm going to go through some of the delays. If you guys have some delays that you really like, feel free to drop them in the comments below so I can check out the plugins that you guys are using. But this is my new favorite and my recommendation. Also, stop right now and subscribe to my channel and like this video for more content. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. So with that said, we're going to dive into it and I'm going to show you guys my new favorite delay plugin. First, I'm going to play these vocals. I do have them kind of pre-mixed and I'm going to play them with and without the delays. First, I have the delays muted. Yeah, I'm a bad man with bad plans for you, babe. It won't stop when I'm driving you crazy. You keep yelling, baby, give me some more. Cause she said she just want to feel me deep in the sun. All right, so now I'm going to show you the plugin. It's the Pod Farm Delays. Now, my favorite is this tape echo. This just happens to be my favorite, but there's a ton of delays in here, and they're all pretty sick, right? So I'm going to start out by showing you how this one sounds, and then I'm going to play through some of the other ones so you can get a vibe just for how many cool delays are actually in the pod farm suite. Um, and also now, you know, they have the helix version. So if you want to upgrade and check out some of the delays in the line six helix pack, um, I do recommend that pack as well, but I just really like the pod farm. Um, I've had it a long time. I've used it in a lot of mixes. So I encourage you guys to try it out. They actually gave pod farm away for free at one point. Um, I'm not sure if you can still get it for free or not, but even so, it's only about 200 bucks, so I still think it's worth picking up Pod Farm. It's still a great plugin for guitars, mixing, a whole lot of stuff. Anyway, so let's dive on into it. I'm going to solo the vocals, and I'm going to let you guys hear the delay. Yeah, I'm a bad man with bad plans for you, babe. It won't stop when I'm driving you crazy. I'm going to go ahead and solo the, del the delay. Yeah, you hear that nice little saturation, that nice little crunchiness. I love that. All right. And uh, now one thing I've noticed about some of these pot farm delays, they're a little bit centered. So I like to use a plugin like Side Widener or any other stereo widener plugin. Um, just to basically take the delays and spread them out wider just to kind of get them out of the way of the main vocal. So I'm going to show you guys kind of how that sounds with and without it. Yeah, I'm a bad man with bad plans for you, babe. It won't stop when I'm driving you crazy. Right, you see how wide that gets? It's super sick. And then I also like to run <coughs> to run these delays into a reverb um, a lot of people have Valhalla vintage verb it's a great sounding reverb um, it's real spacey and trippy so it's perfect to follow up your delays so um, now make sure you play with the length of the decay as well as the mix knob so I'm gonna go ahead and play it so you guys can hear it yeah I'm a bad man And what I've found is adding the reverb to your delays can kind of give you more depth to your mix without making it sound washy. Sometimes when you just throw a long reverb on a vocal, it'll make your whole mix sound washy. Um, when you put it on the delays, you're able to get some of that roomy spaciousness, but it still kind of sit in the background and not ruin your mix with muddiness. Yeah, I'm a bad man with bad plans for you, babe. It won't stop when I'm driving you crazy. You keep yelling, baby, get And as you can see right here, I've got the modulation turned up because I think it sounds cool. 
Um, and then, uh, so I actually did quite a bit of EQ because when you're adding, you know, these wide delays and wide reverbs, um, it can get a little bit muddy, especially if you're using longer decay times. So um, I like to do extra filtering to cut out some of the extra low end. Um, and then I did do a little bit of boost on this particular mix just because I like the way that that range sounded. You see, you see how that little presence really just brings it more to life. Um, but I felt like this region was a little harsh, so that's why I brought it down. Okay, and then another thing I did is your effects can sneakily um, add stuff that you don't want in your mix. So what I like to do sometimes is I like to compress after my effects um, with something like a limiter just because it's going to keep those effects in place so that they don't get out of control. Because, like, let's say a singer or a rapper hits a super loud note, um, it's going to hit your reverbs really hard, and so you're going to get a boost of reverb, and it's just going to add that extra muddiness that you don't need. So putting something like an L2 or any type of limiter on the effects bus is great to just control those effects and keep them from getting out of control. You can do it pre-effects or post-effects. Um, I like to do it post-effects just because even when you have a flat vocal, sometimes the reverb can add extra dynamics that you don't want to it. So this is really just to crush the dynamics a little bit. So I'm going to play with it, let you guys hear it. See, that's without it. Uh, whenever I pull the, um, the limiter up, you see how more dynamic the effects are. Now, in some cases, you might want that for a really dynamic song. But when you have a dense mix, um, a lot of times using compression will really help control those effects more. Right. I think that sounds super sick. I'm going to run through some of the other delays. Um, I also really like this tube echo is super sick. You can see that's a little bit of a distorted vibe like like that's so wavy, it's so different than what a lot of these other delay plugins are doing. Like I just love the way that that sounds. Um, there's also some other really cool stuff in here. Like let's like uh, this low res. It's kind of like a bit crusher delay. It's kind of like a lo-fi kind of delay thing. Super cool. Phase echo. Okay, and like if you use the ping pong, you won't have to use the stereo uh, spreader plugins as much because it already gives you a wide sound. But keep in mind that the ping pong is using different speeds on each side. That's kind of how it creates that stereo effect. So you may or may not want that, um, but it's definitely something cool to play with. Um, you've got a reverse delay that can be really cool on certain things. Keep yelling, baby, give me some more. She said she just want to film. That's kind of like a sound design type of thing. It, I really don't use this as often because it can sound messy, but in some cases it can be cool, especially if you're putting it on like a melody or a sound like that. 
Um, you've got a sweep echo. It won't stop when I'm driving you crazy. Like, that's freaking gnarly, bro. What other, what other delay plugins are you finding that are are this wavy? Like, seriously. Anyway, so I'm gonna run this back to how I had it with the tape echo. And I'm gonna blend these delays in with the music, just so you guys can check it out, um, see how the mix is kind of sounding. And um, let me know what you guys think about it, man. Yeah, I'm a bad man with bad plans for you, baby. It won't stop when I'm driving you crazy. You keep yelling, baby, give me some more. Cause she said she just want to feel me deep in the sun. Right, so that's what I got for you guys today. Check out the Pod Farm delays. Um, if you guys have any sick delays you want to recommend me, drop them in the comments. I'd love to check them out. You know. Anyways, this is Schaefer. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. And you guys have a blessed day, man.